Bethel of Dollar Ministries. Coming up next on Changing Your World. When, you, when, you're, when you're honest and you're doing things out of the integrity of your heart, God will show up. God will show up and intervene before certain things will happen in your life. And I tell you, that, that, that is a motivation, I pray for you, as it is for me and anybody else, to begin to be people of integrity so that you can, can, can just have this little note in your heart and your mind that my integrity will prevent certain things, certain bad things from happening. My integrity will guide me. My integrity will, will stop certain things from taking place. My integrity will even allow God to show up. Get ready to renew your mind and spirit at the 2021 Grace Life Conference. Join Creflo Dollar and Taffy Dollar, streaming online worldwide July 15th through the 16th, 10 a.m. Eastern and 7 p.m. Eastern. Learn more at gracelife-conference.org and register now by texting Grace Life to 51555. This is an experience that you don't want to miss. This is your world, so let's vow to make it a better place. Let every heart that needs to know, your love is here to stay. Ooh, it's time we live a new life. Let us love shine bright in you. We're saved by His grace, so we embrace your love today. Father, we thank you for this, another opportunity to minister to these, your precious sheep. Thank you, Lord, that revelation knowledge will flow freely, uninterrupted and unhindered by any satanic or demonic force. And Father, I pray that you will speak through my vocal cords and think through my mind. None of me and all of you, it's in Jesus' name we pray. And everybody said, amen and amen. Well, welcome to another Wednesday night Bible study. Um, we have been talking about character. And last week we talked about godly character and we really related it to the fruit of the Spirit. But what we want to talk about today is a lot of times when people talk character, they really mean integrity. Now let me say that again. A lot of times people, when they talk character, they really mean integrity. So today, we're going to look at integrity versus character and talk about exactly what that is. So if you have your Bibles, go with me to the book of 1 Kings chapter 9 and verse 4. 1 Kings chapter 9 and verse 4. I, I really want to go slow on this because I, I, I want you to see the difference for quite some time in my life, when I was talking about, uh, in a lot of places, I was talking about integrity, I really meant character. And then sometimes when I was talking about character, it, it lined up correctly, but there's, there is a distinction here that needs to be made where this is concerned. So let's start off with some definitions. Let's, let's look at the word integrity first and uh, give you just some first insight on that. Integrity, what it does, it it adheres to a code of conduct. Integrity adheres to a code of conduct. Uh, integrity, what it does, um, it says, well, here's what I've decided to live by. Uh, and for us as Christians, we've decided to live by the Word. We've decided to live by the principles of God's Word and the principles of God's grace. And so integrity says, you know, I'm, I'm going to adhere to that. I'm going to adhere to that standard. I'm going to adhere to that code. You see this in 1 Kings chapter 9, verse 4. David is really demonstrating this in integrity. He says in verse, uh, chapter 9, verse 4, he says, And if thou wilt walk before me as David thy father walked in integrity of heart, and in uprightness, all right, integrity of heart and uprightness, what? To do according to all that I have commanded thee and will keep my statutes and my, and my judgments. 
uh, you see in verse 4, he demonstrates a man who has made his mind up to walk in integrity. And, and the Bible says that he had integrity of his heart because he was determined to adhere to that code of conduct. He was a, determined to adhere to that standard and that way of carrying his life. Now, let's look at character, and I want to revisit what we've already talked about because it's so very important. Let's look at character again. Character is, and we've defined it this way, character is doing what's right. Now, I want you to put emphasis on doing. Character is doing what's right. Because without doing, you're never going to find out what character is. Character is, what's do, is doing what's right. Um, it is doing what's right because it's right, all right? Character is doing integrity or doing what's right because it's right, then doing it right. You know, it has been said that a person will never go past his character. That a person will never go past his character. A lot of times people wonder, well, how come I hadn't reached this stage in my career or in my life? I guarantee you it is a character issue because character is sandwiched with habits and destiny. And right in the middle of habits and destiny, you will find character. So, you know, first of all, one of the reasons we're talking about this is that you're going to always be a victim of your character. You're going to always have to, you'll, character is like a ceiling. You can't go past it. You can't go past that, that your, your character. So character is doing what's right because it's right and then doing it right. Character is also what people have come to expect from you. So it's something that flowed out of you and then once it's on the outside, and people can see it, then, you know, your character is now something that has, you know, people have come to expect from you. So a person's character is the sum of his or her disposition, his thoughts, his intentions, his desires, and his actions. Character is shown in how you deal with things. Character is shown with, with how you deal with things. Character looks at what you are doing and how you deal with things. Character is something that you hold fast to inside and that people see uh, in you on the outside. So let's, 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 let's give this definition. Character involves the action of a story. Character is the action of a story. So whatever the story is, character is the action of a story. Now, what I want to do is give a definition that will compare and contrast integrity and character, and I want to, I'm going to give it to the simplest way I possibly can. Here it is. Integrity is recognizing a behavior that is wrong and not joining it. Integrity is recognizing a behavior that is, that is wrong and not join, joining it. And then character is doing something about it. So integrity recognizes something that is wrong, but integrity says, I'm not going to join that which I know is wrong. That's what integrity is. But character is doing something about it. Once you see that something is wrong and you refuse to join it, now do you have enough character to do something about it? Wow. Wow. You, you see what I'm saying? Integrity. Integrity knows that that's wrong. Integrity knows that there's a problem here. Integrity knows that that's wrong, and, 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 and integrity says, I will not join that. But character says, I know what's wrong, I won't join it, but character is all about what are you not going to do about it? What are you not going to do about it? Character is doing something about it. Let me give you a few examples. Character is knowing people need food and doing something about it. Character knows that, um, you know, people are hurting and doing something about it. it, it character is, 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 is about doing something about it. it. I'll go this far as to say character is knowing that a friend is being dishonest with, uh, in a situation. And then, here's the character, with love and firmness, you confront that person. Enough character 
to do something about the wrong that you know and the wrong that you won't get involved in. Now that's, that's confronting. Just to hear the distinction is something that's very confronting. So the difference between integrity and character is action. The difference between integrity and character is action. Character is about the doing, doing what's right. Integrity will de define what's right. Character is doing what's right. And so the difference here between integrity and character is action. Now, let's deal a little bit with in integrity here. In integrity is associated with words like honesty, um, respect. It's associated with words like, you know, generating trust or uh, responsibility. It, one of the main things that I, I have always contributed to integrity is keeping promises, keeping promises, uh, helping others, you see. And so what happens is we, we've got to understand the place of integrity and not to get it so confused with the actions of character. Look at this in Proverbs chapter 10 and 9. What does the Bible have to say about integrity? Proverbs chapter 10 and verse 9, he says, He that walketh uprightly, that's integrity. He that walketh uprightly walketh surely. So there's an amazing result that comes with walking in integrity. He says, but he that perverteth his ways, he shall be known. Look at this scripture in Proverbs chapter 28 and verse 6. Proverbs chapter 28 and verse 6. He says, better is the poor that walketh in his uprightness. So it says the guy can be poor, but he has integrity. Then he that is perverse in his ways, in other words, he has no integrity, though he be rich. So he's rich with no integrity. And there's a guy that's poor with integrity. And he says, you would be better off being poor with your integrity than to be rich with no integrity. Now that leads me to think, well, you know, will my integrity produce things in my life? Will my integrity get the, intention of, uh, the attention of heaven? I, I believe so. I believe so. Let's look at some, some scriptures here, and I'll show you an illustration of that in a moment. Proverbs 11 and 3. Proverbs chapter 11 and verse 3. He says, the integrity of the upright shall guide them. So first of all, I see that when you're walking in integrity, you have a guide. The guy who doesn't have any integrity, uh, he, he, the, the, the guidance that's needed for his life, it, to me, that's one of the most important things you can have as a believer. You, you, want, you want to have integrity that will guide you. Your integrity will guide you. Ultimately, your integrity is going to guide you into good character. Your integrity is going to guide you into the type of actions you perform, the type of character that you display, okay? Now, uh, let's look at Genesis chapter 20. I thought about this story here, and uh, very interesting something here that there was a guy that probably could have died except his integrity got him out of a situation. The story about Abraham in Genesis chapter 20 and verse 1, and Abraham journeyed from thence towards the south country, and he dwelled between Kedesh and Shur, and sojourned in Gerar. And Abraham said to Sarah, said of Sarah, his wife, she is my sister. Now, you know, it, it was his half-sister, but, you know, some people think, well, you know, that's a half a truth or a half a lie, but, you know, she is my sister. They were half-sisters and brothers. And then he said, uh, she is my sister, and Abimelech, the king of Gerar, sent and took Sarah. I mean, check it out. Uh, they asked, well, who is she? He said, it's your sister. Think about that now. It, no explanation. He says, that's my sister. And he said it with the intent to deceive as well. Let's, let's make sure we understand that. And verse 3 says, but God came to Abimelech in a dream by night and said to him, behold, thou art but a dead man. Now, now stop right there. I mean, he finally gets to hear the voice of God, and here's what he hears. This night, are you a dead man? <laughs> oh, man, come on. I don't know how many of you have ever heard the voice of God, but I can guarantee you, you don't want to hear God's voice come to you and say, this night, you are a dead man. 
Well, let's continue on. He says, for the woman which thou hast taken, she is a man's wife. All right, now check this out, because remember, he said that's his sister. And God says, you know what, this night you're a dead man um, because you're getting ready to mess with this man's wife who I'm in covenant with. But Abimelech had not come near her, and he said, Lord, will thou slay also a righteous nation? Verse 5, said he not unto me, she is my sister? And she even said herself, said herself, said, he is my brother. Now watch this. He said, in the integrity of my heart and the innocency of my hands have I done this. In other words, he's like, there was no intention at all for me to do this with deception. I did this honestly. I did it with the integrity of my heart. They said they were sister and brother. I had no idea that they were, were married. And God said, watch this, God said unto him in a dream, yea, I know that thou did this in the integrity of thy heart. You know what God was saying? That's why I'm talking to you right now. He said, the integrity of your heart has allowed me to show up right now and stop this thing before you go over a bridge. The integrity of your heart is the reason why I can show up right now and prevent the bad thing from happening to you. That really spoke to me, that there's something about integrity. When you operate in the integrity of your heart, you might be getting ready to, 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 to fall off a, 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 a ledge or something, and God will show up right before that happens because of the integrity of your heart. That just shows me God's willing to show up and stop bad things from happening when you operate in the integrity of your heart. And so God said unto him in, in the dream, yeah, I know that thou did this in the integrity of thy heart, for I also withheld thee from sinning against me. That's awesome. God said your integrity caused me to show up and stop you from sinning against me. Therefore suffered I thee not to touch her. That really, really speaks to me about the power of integrity. When, you, when, you're, when you're honest and you're doing things out of the integrity of your heart, God will show up. God will show up and intervene before certain things will happen in your life. And I tell you, that, that, that is a motivation, I pray for you, as it is for me and anybody else, to begin to be people of integrity so that you can, can, can just have this little note in your heart and your mind that my integrity will prevent certain things, certain bad things from happening. My integrity will guide me. My integrity will, will stop certain things from taking place. My integrity will even allow God to show up and to stop me and stop certain things from happening. And you know, honestly, you know, you may be called to something and in the integrity of your heart, you really honestly thought that's what you were supposed to do in the integrity of your heart. And let me tell you something, in the name of Jesus, you know what happens? You know what's got, got to take place in the integrity of your heart? God shows up and he says, stop, don't go that way. Stop, that's not the way you should go. And in the integrity of your heart, you got this wonderful thing that happens. So that, that's, a, that's a blessing of the Lord to me, praise God. Now, let's, let's dig into the character part of it again. So character is influence by our choices, and character is influenced by our decisions. Character is influenced by our choices and our decisions. Let me show you what Daniel did uh, in Daniel 1 and 8. Daniel had made a decision that he was going to fast from certain things, and, you know, he, he had character to stick with it. Uh, so in Daniel 1 and 8, but Daniel purposed in his heart that he would not defile himself with the portion of the king's meat, nor with the wine which he drank. Therefore, he requested of the prince of the eunuch that he might not defile himself. And so, you know, he could have easily just, oh, it ain't nothing but food, but the character to do what he said he was going to do. The, 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 the character to carry out that integrity and conviction of his heart. That's, that's a powerful thing, and he demonstrated, and that was a choice that he made. It was a decision he made. He, he made a decision to carry himself a certain way and had the character to bring it or to bring it to pass in his life. Look at another illustration, Romans 5 
verse 3 through 4 in the New Living Translation. Romans 5, 3 through 4 in the New Living Translation. He says, we can rejoice too when we run into problems and trials, for we know that they help us develop endurance. And then he says, the endurance develops strength of character. So will God allow certain trials to come into your life to help you to develop in character? Yeah. I believe certain things happen that become opportunities to develop character. And he says your endurance develops strength of character, and your character strengthens our confidence and our hope of salvation. And so, yeah, I believe there's some things that happen in our life that will strengthen our character. And uh, I, I just believe that once you go through certain things and it strengthens your character, then, you know, you doing something about things is going to be strengthened even more, doing the right thing. You doing the right thing. Sometimes a trial can help you to do the right thing. Glory to God. That, that is so true. Sometimes hard times motivates you to do the right thing. It strengthens your character, okay? And so, please listen to me. Let, let, me, let me review something. Um, I think this is very important. Let me review the anatomy of, of life, and, and I call it an anatomy of life. Just like you have the anatomy of a physical body, these eight steps really deal with your life. And so the anatomy of life starts with what you expose yourself to. What are you watching? What are you hearing? What are you exposed to? Okay, so whatever you're exposed to is going to determine the way you think. Whatever you're exposed to is going to determine the way you think. And you know, the Bible says, as a man thinketh in his heart, so is he. Okay. Okay, so now, from this point on, it's going gonna, it's gonna to determine everything else. Your thinking is going to determine your emotions. It's going to determine how you feel, all right? So if you feel depressed, it's probably, you got to go back, in order to fix it, you got to go back to what you've been thinking about. You got to go back to what you've been exposing yourself to, because what you've exposed yourself to determines how you think, and your thinking determines how you feel. Watch this. How you feel determines your decisions that you will make. How you feel determines the decisions you make. Your decisions now will determine the actions you take. Your actions will determine, watch this, the habits you create. See, we create habits, then those habits create us. So those, those habits that you, you, you take, and then watch this, those habits that came from actions, that came from the decisions, that came from how you feel, that came from what you've been thinking about, that came from what you expose yourself to, those habits now create the character. Those habits create your character. You want to know why your character the way it is? Why is your character the way it is? It's because what you've exposed yourself to that caused you to think a certain way, that caused you to feel a certain way, that caused you to make certain decisions, that's caused you to make, take certain actions, that created the habit, and the habit created the character. The habits in our lives create character, and watch this, whatever type of character you have determines the destination. Your destination is determined by your character, and, and, and your character is a makeup of all the things that help to arrive at that place of habits. And so your character is in between all the things that created those habits and your destination. Is it possible that your struggles to succeed are due to issues with your character? Creflo Dollar thoroughly examines how our character can either hold us back or help us rise above in his series, Cultivating Godly Character. Character is doing what's right because it's right and then doing it right. Character is like a ceiling. You can't go past it. Whatever type of character you have determines the destination. So if you don't like your character, you got to go all the way back to what you've been exposing yourself to that caused you to think that way, that caused you to, to feel that way, that caused you to make the decisions that way, that caused you to act that way, that now created the habits that now create the character. 
These four insightful messages can change your life today for a love gift of only $25 US dollars or more, plus shipping and handling. Go to creflodollarministries.org and click eStore or call the number on your screen to grab your copy today. Men, it's our time to dive deeper at the 2021 Mentality Men's Conference. Join us online on September 10th and 11th for two days of dynamic teachings from Creflo Dollar. A real man looks to God for his identity and his word. Get ready to receive real life resolution from raw and uncut messages at the 2021 Mentality Conference. You don't prove you're a real man by doing something that can take you away from your family, by doing something that can get you arrested, by doing something that can get you killed. Don't miss out on this revival of manhood. A real man takes steps necessary to keep his mind and his actions pure. Mark your calendars and register today. I want to be a man according to God's way, God's standard, God's will. Register now by texting MENTALITY to 51555 or by visiting creflodollarministries.org. We want to be sure we are living according to what God has taught us about giving. And we understand that giving and receiving is a spiritual law. It's a reflex of God's love. And I'm so glad that Taff and I begin to understand how to walk in this principle. But we give not out of necessity. We give out of a cheerful heart. We give because we're grateful and we're thankful to what God has done. You know, I, I want you to pray about uh, becoming a giver into Creflo Dollar Ministries today. And if this ministry has blessed you in any way, consider sowing a seed of any amount and we will greatly appreciate it. Thank you in advance for your support and God bless you. Your financial donations into this ministry work all over the world to change countless lives. If you'd like to support our efforts to save the lost, you may call in or visit creflodollarministries.org today. God bless you. Get your daily dose of grace on the Changing Your World podcast with Creflo Dollar. Keep the Word of God at the forefront of your mind every day when you download and stream these uplifting messages. Gain a revelation of the fullness of God's grace from Creflo Dollar's powerful sermons and transform into the powerful, victorious believer God made you to be. He will always take our brokenness, I believe, and He will bring new life and He will bring beauty from it. But thank God for the Word because it has the ability in and of itself to repair. With the Changing Your World podcast, you have encouraging and life-changing wisdom at your fingertips 24-7. Tune in whenever you need to be edified, no matter where you are. Subscribe to Changing Your World podcast with Creflo Dollar today on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, or your preferred podcast platform. Because of you, Creflo Dollar Ministries is providing a new understanding of grace and empowering change in the lives of millions of people every day. Thank you, partners and friends. Your love and financial support makes it possible to bring this message into millions of homes all across the globe.